Hi, good morning, good morning. So, uh, this is the best time, man. This is the time where I'm creative. I am not, not that ambitious. No, fuck that shit. Um, so, my trip to Detroit. It was noon yesterday. I'm boasting, I'm boasting to my beautiful assistant. Well, you know, we're learning, we're learning each other. And I'm trying to explain to her that, that was lefty, you should see my right. Um, um, I'm boasting, I'm literally boasting, but we're organizing an event in Detroit. I got a major thing going on here. And uh, that, I said, look, we, I know everyone in Detroit. I don't know everyone in Detroit, but I have three amazing circles of friends in Detroit. Where I went to middle, where I went to grade school, Clinton Dale, blue collar, tough as fuck. Uh, nothing but net, baby. Um, just hardworking, amazing men and women that are my lifelong friends. Then I go to De La Salle Collegiate, the super smart nerd Christian group that these men are leaders, man. So we got that circle of friends, and then Hillsdale College, which is one of the highest educational, amazing Judeo-Christian places. I got three circles of friends. Uh, just kidding, yes. And among those three circles of friends, I'm literally, they call that a six degrees of separation from everybody ever heard that. It's like, no, no, I, I literally have like a phone call or a Facebook post. Let's see, I just posted on Facebook. I needed to meet with Mitch Album and Dan Gilbert. I heard Dan Gilbert got sick though. Um, Mitch Album is a top artist, a top uh, writer and personality in Detroit. And uh, you guys want to see this? Oh, yeah. Darn, I wanted to make that one for you. But let's see if I get a meeting with them because I just posted on Facebook. I need to meet with them. I'll be here two weeks. I got a couple trips. One trip to Canada and one trip to an automotive shop. Where is that? Somewhere in Detroit. Uh, two clients. So I'm, I'm having a blast. Yesterday, get the call. Go to uh, go to. I'm gonna go to Detroit. Um, I t I'm telling. I'm telling Kelly. I'm like. I know Kid Rock. I don't know Kid Rock, but I bet you I have a best friend, who's best friends with him. I bet you. And I, I'm not exaggerating. It's one hour later. One hour later, I get a call, from uh, somebody that I'm trying to recruit to come to Houston to be an operator for a certain business. And he's like, oh yeah, I work for Kid Rock now. I, I, I do this, this stuff for him. And uh, yeah, we like, over the last couple of years, we've become best friends. So tonight I'm backstage with Kid Rock. I jump on a fucking airplane and in three hours time, four hours, I'm still wearing the same clothes. I'm gonna go swimming a little bit cause I gotta refresh this shit. Uh, I got a solid four and a half hours of sleep after the amazing Kid Rock concert. Uh, man, it, it, was, it, was, it was the best concert I've ever had. As I walk in, imagine this, so, so I walk in and I'm, I'm late because I don't land until seven and the concert starts at like eight. To, so I get in and I, I can hear Kid Rock, but I don't know that song. Well, I go to the will call, boom, I get my front row seats. And um, what song is playing? Um, Nothing seems strange when the leaves began to change. It's, it's autumn in Michigan. Uh, and then he stops the song, Kid Rock goes, It's motherfucking great to be back in Detroit! As I'm walking in, that's like my walk-up song. Like, I'm coming to my hometown. I swear to God, my back of my neck, the hairs was like, palpable. Watch this, dude, corner of my left hand. Didn't know I had a game like that, did you, motherfuckers? Um... I'm not left-handed either. I'm Amba. 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 Ambidextrous. Um, most insane people are, by the way. This is a true psychological thing. <clears throat> Use your left side and your right side of your brain when you're an entrepreneur, and I've been blessed with that, truly. <clears throat> All because I worked on my left so much playing basketball. So things are coming together here that I couldn't possibly, man couldn't possibly put together. No, no. How does that happen? 
It's a God thing. Folks, we got to keep believing there's going to be haters out there. There's going to be haters out there. Oh, I got banned from the Houston Harbor. Like I got an email this morning. The rules committee has met. Okay. I got to post the video. So I got thrown out. I did post the video. I didn't cuss. I just said, you are the worst umpire I have ever seen. You're going to loot. You're going to lose teams in this league because they're, they're the worst umpires ever. Anyway, I sent a voicemail to who I thought was my friend. He was a backstabber, loser. And the voicemail was like a really nice voicemail. And then we're, we got a game the next day against him. And he's a very good player. And he's from Detroit. He's a black guy. He's not from Detroit, excuse me. But, you know, kind of trash talk. So I'm going to get this real nice lesson. But you know, so I'm conflicted, I said, because at the same time, I'm going to... I'm going to tell my pitchers to throw one right in your fucking ear hole. And I'm doing no, no. And I, I, I trash talk between friends. And I, I got a lifetime ban for violence. Hey, idiots, you don't ban someone for a league for talking trash on a cell phone message between friends. Completely sober to you. It wasn't like some of the other stupid shit I've said in my life when I've been drunk. It was totally between friends. I told the guy that. Eh, I, I said, I don't even, I'm not even going to read whatever you said. We're just going to start a new league. Fuck you. You guys think I got this? Ah, oh, this. All right, so tonight, Kid Rock doesn't know it yet. But I, I, he, I'm told he doesn't have time right now. But I have a project that I know that he's going to want to work on. I just feel it in my heart to heart. And I, I, I learn more about how I'm not a big fan of, of Kid Rock. I mean, I know his popular songs. But now I'm learning more about his personality. And I mean, him and I are like, unless something weird happens, him and I are gonna become friends because we're, we're like the same dude, politically, family-wise, partying-wise, all that stuff, man. It's incredible. Cash money, brother.